हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अ चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 8 ऑफ क्लास 10 साइंस दैट इज हाउ टू ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिप्रोड्यूस सो हियर लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज अ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टेक प्लेस थ्रू बडिंग इन आंसर इज बी दैट इज ईस्ट second which of the following is not a part of a female reproductive system in human beings answer is c that is vas deferens now question number 3 says the anther contains answer is d that is pollen grains for the question number 4 says what are the advantages of sexual reproduction over asexual reproduction answer is in a sexual reproduction the offsprings are almost identical to their parents because they have the same genes as their parents so much genetic variation is not possible in a sexual reproduction this is a disadvantage because it inhibits the further evaluation of the organism second point is in sexual reproduction the offspring although similar to their parents are not identical to them or to anyone this is because the offspring receives some genes from the mother and some from the father because of the mixing of genes of mother and father in various different combinations all of the offsprings have genetic variation in this way sexual reproduction leads to the greater variety in population this means that a species animal or plant can adapt quickly to changes in its surroundings this is because there are always likely to be some individuals which are more suited to the changes than others and these individuals will survive and reproduce themselves for the question number 5 says what are the functions performed by the testes in human beings answer is first After the stage of adolescence testes produce male gametes in the human males which are called sperms second a hormone called testreoid is produced in testes testreon controls the development of reproductive organ and secondary sexual character now question number 6 says why does menstruation occur answer is if the ovum does not get fertilized then the thick and soft inner lining of the uterus is no longer needed and hence it breaks so the thick and soft inner lining of the uterus along with the blood vessel and dead ovum comes out of the vagina in the form of blood called menstruation menstruation occur after the interval of every 28 days and the time period between ovulation and menstruation is about 14 days for the Question number 7 says do the label diagram of a longitudinal section of a flower so guys this you can do it yourself now question number 8 says what are the different methods of contraption answer is first barrier method in this method diaphragm and cervical caps are used these prevent the entry of sperms in the female genital tract during sexual intercourse second chemical method in this method a woman uses two kind of pills the oral pills are hormonal preparation which suppress the release of ovum in the fallopian tube these are called oral contraceptives the vaginal pills or creams are spermidical the chemicals in these spermidicals kills the sperm during their journey in the vaginal tract for the third is intrauterine contraceptive device intrauterine contraceptive device such as copper t are placed safely in the uterus by a skilled doctor it prevents the sperm from reaching the uterus fourth surgical method in this method a small part of vas deferens of male and fallopian tube of female is cut or tied by surgery now question number 9 says how are the modes of reproduction different in unicellular and multicellular organisms 
आंसर इज फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन मोड इन यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टेक प्लेस इन यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म सेकेंड ओनली वन ऑर्गेनिज्म इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस मेथड थर्ड नो स्पेशल सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट फॉर रिप्रोडक्शन फोर्थ नो स्पेशल ऑर्गन आर प्रेजेंट फॉर रिप्रोडक्शन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन मोड इन मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन टेक प्लेस इन मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म सेकेंड अ मेल एंड अ फीमेल बोथ आर रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस मेथड थर्ड स्पेशल सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट फॉर रिप्रोडक्शन and the fourth one is special organs are present for reproduction located at the fixed position in the body now question number 10 says how does reproduction help in providing stability to population of species answer is the introduction of variations during reproduction provides stability to the population of various species by preventing them from getting whipped out during adverse condition Reproduction also helps to generate copies of individuals which are suited to a particular environment. Now, question number 11 says, what could be the reasons for adopting contraceptive method? Answer is, first, to control the birth rate and prevent the increase in population. Second, to reduce the adverse effect on the mother's body due to frequent pregnancy. And the third point is to provide safety from sexually transmitted diseases so guys here i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel aglasim schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health